The Legion of Mary Concilium, its international governing body, has been taking a leadership role on one of the great challenges facing the church today. The theme is the new evangelization and uh, is for the church the great challenge of the new millennium. Priests and laity working together to proclaim the good news. The challenge of the new evangelization, helping Catholics return to the sacraments, is common to many countries of the Western world. The lay people who make up the Legion are ready for this challenge, and in organizing conferences for the clergy, they look for ways to coordinate the work more closely with church leaders. It's interesting that this is a conference for priests, which has been organized and inspired by a movement constituted primarily of lay persons. There's a huge amount we can learn from the, the daily Christian life of those to whom we minister. And we, we need a, a church which um, uh, exceeds the importance of the ministerial priesthood and involves the work of lay people uh, in the evangelizing mission of the church. Lay organizations like the Legion of Mary are increasingly important for the church in countries like Ireland. It's true there are fewer vocations to ordained religious life, but that doesn't mean young people are not prepared to make a commitment to their faith. As these young legionaries gather for their annual conference, they are preparing to join in the work of evangelization and engage with other young people, people of perhaps little faith or none. You have to be listening and understand where are they at and speak to them at the level they're at and bring them along slowly. And a lot of people nowadays need a, a conversion or reversion to Catholic faith, but it's not instant. We can be saints. People are now uh, reassessing the potential in their own lives for a sense of values, a sense of commitment, and a sense of service. And I think the Legion provides an outlet for that. Australia is an example of a modern, wealthy, and somewhat secular country. And yet, the Legion of Mary continues to grow and be a vital part of church life here. 60 new presidia have opened in parishes across Australia in the last six years. Christina Hayes is a young artist from Melbourne who recently joined the Legion. Creating relationships is sometimes quite similar to um, creating a painting. You have to start in a general, messy way. Things might not work out. Um, so well but you generally you learn and the Legion helps you um, develop those relationships it gives you a starting place the Legion of Mary has a long history in Melbourne going back to 1934 since then apostolic works like visiting the sick and the old continue to be part of the Legion's routine we meet the residents there and often on Sunday mornings we take them to Mass. And the Legion in the 1950s? Most of them are in wheelchairs, so we wheel them down and um, we often get to sit with them and talk. You're the liaison person for World Youth Day in the parish? It's provided me really with training in talking about faith and with really a good grounding in my own faith that I didn't have before. Or buses going up to Sydney. So. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But before they discuss, they pray. And in between, they work in terms of, they give report on assignment given, and then the priest speaks. Saint Michael and Saint but not to chairman their meeting. And the Holy Spirit. I think my role really is to affirm and encourage and stay in the background that they want to have a good priest who will support them and encourage them and who believes in the vocation of the laity. The laity are 99% of the church. It's clear that Legion members across the world are deeply committed Catholic laity. And a country like Rwanda also shows how the Legion can help a church grow and be a bridge of healing between people. Gatherings like this, celebrating the Legion and its work, are evidence of how it enriches the lives of these ordinary people. <laughs> Buenos Aires, Argentina. Here, like in Mexico and Brazil and other countries in the region, the Legion of Mary has played an important role in the history of the Catholic Church. As countries won their independence in the 19th century, one result was a shortage of priests. In fact, it wasn't until the 1950s that the church began to grow again because of the impact of the Legion of Mary. 
Today, one of the apostolic works of the Senatus of Buenos Aires is to spend time with vulnerable young women. These young mothers have been sent to this shelter by the courts. For many, it's their first experience of a safe and peaceful home and the opportunity of an education. Legionaries can respond because they understand the love of another young mother. Ser legionario, for empezar, ser fiel a la Virgen. Y para mí es eh, es justamente ese amor que uno le tiene a María que llega va creciendo día a día es serle fiel a ese a esa misión, ¿no? Ella nos pide siempre que bueno. Primero porque yo tengo vocación de servicio. Entonces, cualquier tipo de trabajo que esté en relación en relación con el ser humano, este me encanta y sigo trabajando todavía con con grupos de gente joven. Sí, y ahora vamos a hacer una misión en una zona muy difícil donde existe la droga, la prostitución, etcétera, etcétera. Y ustedes saben que eso eh, solamente lo podemos lograr cuando tenemos un corazón mm, dedicado, un corazón que ama, un corazón que cree, ¿verdad? Y que quiere cumplir con los mandamientos de la ley de Dios. People who want to fulfill God's commandments and honor the mother of Jesus are not alone. When the Legion in South Korea wanted to celebrate its 50th anniversary, 40,000 gathered in the sports stadium in Gwangju. Together, they share the bonds of a true faith. And individually, each one is striving for personal holiness, modeled on Marian spirituality. In guiding legionaries in their spiritual growth, it was a great privilege to uh, travel on behalf of the Legion. I had the honour of going to uh, Korea. And what always struck me, everywhere I went, uh, and uh, to a different country, different culture, you found a family, that the Legion is one big family around the world, and that you're always greeted as a member of a family. Legion members often comment that when they visit each other, there are no barriers to friendship, no problems about distance. Geography is not an issue when members everywhere share the Legion's practices and prayer life. These connections allow each one feel part of the universal Catholic Church. I know of no other body, clerical or lay, where ordinary members of the Legion have such a, a universal knowledge of the Church in Africa, Asia, Latin America, North America, Europe, to have a Catholic formation that gives a, a Catholic a sense of belonging to the universal church, you know. Legionaries undertake to bring the Catholic faith to the farthest corners of the earth. Here in a rural part of the Philippines, the approach to evangelization is no different to what legionaries do on the streets of Paris or Tokyo. Quiet, one-to-one -one personal contact, where there is respect for the dignity of each individual, no matter what the circumstances. It's not the theological training that's important, but rather faith and trust in Our Lady. This is the approach recommended in the Legion Handbook, and which has worked since the 1920s. The thing we found about the, the, the legionaries in the Philippines uh, is that they're following the handbook to the letter. And that is the reason why the thing is flourishing. And um, the meeting that I, the me I attended many meetings over there, and um, they have to say that they were exactly the same as the meetings I have here in Dublin or any part of Ireland. And uh, the beautiful unifying factor of the legion is so far as that we're all the same. Loyal to the Universal Church, the Legion always follows diocesan and Vatican policy. In return, the Vatican has approved the Legion as a valuable ally, especially because of the opportunity it provides for lay people to participate. Since the renewal of the Catholic Church at Vatican II, special emphasis is placed on the role of lay people. And so the Legion is a valuable model for the Catholic Church to grow and enrich the lives of its members. So the idea of Frank Duff was just that, you know, that the church cannot be just priests alone or lay people alone. Uh, 
each one going their own way, you know. We must be together and work together. While the apostolic work is a visible sign of the living Christianity of legionaries, it's clear from the Legion Handbook that it's not the most important aspect of Legion membership. Remembering that the principal objective of the Legion is personal sanctification, it is the obligation to attend meetings weekly and to an active prayer life that is most encouraged by the Legion. But it's an obligation that's not a burden. Indeed, legionaries see meetings as a welcome opportunity to join with like-minded people of faith. Frank Duff had this vision that everybody had a role to play and uh, the Legion makes room for everybody. So we look forward to uh, what we can do new, how new ways of bringing the truth, the gospel, the good news. And uh, just as Our Lady's role was to bring Christ into the world, and the Legion of Mary, under the guidance, the, the banner of Our Lady, with her uh, protection and assistance, we try to bring Christ to everybody.